Well, we like to talk, but we love to eat. And today, y'all, we are going to be making a pecan cream cheese peach dump cake. I know it sounds complicated, okay, but I promise y'all it's really not. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this recipe also. If you know one of your homegirls who can't cook, or uh, one of your grannies who can't cook, one of your aunties or your mom, because you know the holidays are coming up, y'all. Don't want to look bad in front of your family and shit. Or if you need like a quick dessert and something easy, if you're having a date night, y'all, I'm telling you, let me show you what you need. It's not a lot of ingredients. You need a box of butter golden cake mix, y'all, okay? You're going to need the cinnamon swirl crumb cake and muffin mix. Get you some pecans, vanilla extract, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar, y'all. One can of peaches and heavy syrup. My bad. I ain't going to show y'all sheep. Y'all get what I'm saying. One big can like this. First and foremost, what you're going to do, what I like to do, I like to butter my pan a little bit. Oh, y'all, I'm sorry, but don't forget your butter. You're going to need like a whole, like a one, one to two sticks of butter, but most definitely a stick and a half, okay? Okay, first thing you're going to do, preheat your oven to 350, okay? This is going to be quick. I need you. Dump your can of peaches. Dump your can of peaches, okay? In your pan. Let me show you my pan how it looks. Then next what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of vanilla extract. Just a little bit. Then we're going to come and add some cinnamon sugar. Sprinkle that. You're going to dump your one can of peaches in heavy syrup. This is how it should look. Simple, right? Ain't nothing hard, I promise you. Just follow me. Next, we're going to mix it together, y'all. Mix that together. Mix it all together. Mix it together, baby. You're doing such a great job. I told y'all this, this recipe is not complicated. Long as I don't lose, you mix it together. I like to put a little bit of cinnamon, even though I have put the cinnamon sugar. You can also taste it to make sure it's enough for you. Now, do you see how this looks? See how that looks? Now we're going to get to the easy part. Okay, now what you're going to do, you're going to take your whole box of cake mix, y'all, this box of cake mix. Don't mix it. Don't do nothing what they say on this box. Okay, you're going to take this and just pour it on top. And I'm going to show you how it's supposed to look once you have poured it on top, y'all. Make sure you cover everything, all your peaches, all your little heavy syrup at the bottom. Cover it up, y'all. Okay, this is how it should look, y'all, after y'all covered it with a whole box of cake mix. Now we're going to spread it, okay? Spread it. Make sure everything is covered, okay? No liquid left behind. Make sure everything is covered. You don't want no crusty-ass dump cake, okay? You don't want it to look ashy. Even though, you know, I don't believe in putting on lotion too much, you know. But it's our food. That's how it should look after I pat it down. The best of my ability. You know, like if your hair itch, your weave itch when it's time to take it out or something. You know, pat that down like that. This is how it should look before I add the next ingredient. I promise y'all we almost done and it's not going to take us long. Just follow me, okay? Now we're going to add the cinnamon swirl crumb cake muffin mix. Okay, next y'all. We're going to take this box, okay? We're not going to need the whole box, okay? But take this box and we're going to sprinkle this on top. You ain't got to mix nothing, okay? Get you some gloves or wash your little nasty hands before you put it on top there, y'all. I promise y'all it's not hard. I'm about to show you what to do. 
Now, disclaimer, y'all, because I know some of us could be a little slow. This box right here is going to come with two packages in it. You are not going to use this one, okay? You are going to use this one and spread this one on top. Don't use the other one because that one has to be mixed. You're only using this for another topping, y'all. So we're going to take it, okay? Sprinkle on top. Sprinkle on top. You know, give it a little splash, that's about it. That's about it. And guess what y'all, after this we got one more ingredient, can you believe? Well, not one more ingredient, but we almost done. I'm sorry, y'all. How it should look. It's how it should look, my babies. I promise you, you're doing so great, y'all. We almost done. It's almost time to put it in the oven. Next, we're going to add our pecans. Nothing, nothing special, y'all. Just add your pecans. Just add a few if you don't want to go crazy. Okay, now we're going to add our butter. You should cut your butter into squares, depending how big your pan is, but make sure everything is covered. You don't want no ashy ass dump cake, but if you like it like that, I mean, hey, it's up to you. But make sure the whole thing is covered with your butter so it could be saturated, y'all, so it could bake well. Okay, but this how it should look. Your squares when you're cutting. Yeah, I know I use a piece of slicer, but bear with me, y'all. It should look. After you're covered it, see that? After you covered it in the butter, you little squares. I know some of mine are a little wopsided, but so are my brain cells. Bear with me, y'all. See, y'all, and this is how it should look after it's covered in the squares. See that? That's how it's going to look. Now we're going to put it in the oven. Remember I told you to preheat your oven because this was going to go pretty fast? Put it in the oven, 350 degrees, 45 minutes, y'all. Uh, until you know to your consistency but 45 minutes is a good time you don't want it all burning hard now we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna wait and this is how we should look after it has came out the oven y'all this is how it should look now, I'm going to just drizzle the icing on there, y'all. This is the finished product, cream cheese pecan dump cake, y'all. I'm going to wait for this to cool. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. Pair it up with some vanilla ice cream. So damn good. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, y'all.